16 million tourists journey to Thailand every year, and despite the influx of visitors, this country's cultural integrity remains beautifully intact. Once known as Siam, the Kingdom of Thailand is a long, narrow country running over 1,400 miles in length from top to bottom. From the idyllic islands to the bustling cities, there are 63 million people living here, and for good reason. They love it, but what else is there for us to wrap our heads around in this magical place? We're about to find out. 15 Strangest Things Recently Discovered in Thailand Hidden Cave Temple This unbelievable cave temple is one of the most mystical landmarks of Thailand, but only a few travelers get a chance to take a photo of it. The reason is simple. It's not easy to get to. It's hidden inside a cave that only a handful of visitors will be able to make the hard trek. Those who do make it are rewarded with a stunning vision that looks like it's straight from an Indiana Jones movie. There's a local legend that the cave was discovered around 200 years ago when a local ruler was forced to abandon a ship during a storm and found safety in the cave. Some historians, however, believe the cave was discovered by a nobleman called Nakon, who lived in the region in the 17th century. You'll need to pay a national park fee of 200 baht and a guide will be assigned to you as you can't go there without one. From the bottom of the stairs, it's a big climb, so unless you're fit and used to stair climbing, just go slowly and take your time. Even though 430 meters seems to be a piece of cake on flat land, climbing slippery steps is no easy task. Close to the top, the path slowly eases then starts going down into the first cave. Don't go imagining a dark, scary pit, though, because the sunlight beams gracefully through the open ceiling of the first cave. The first cave has a natural stone bridge called the Hell Bridge, but the surreal beauty on the second cave is the real reward at the end. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. This person in this narrow cave has found themselves in quite a predicament. They're face to face with a very strange creature unlike anything we've ever seen before. What about you? It kind of looks like a human-sized reptilian creature that really defies description. Is this the rumored lizard people that are supposed to be roaming our planet right now? A sizable number of Americans, 12 million or so, believe that reptilian beings do exist among us. Some go farther and believe they themselves have had contact with these so-called human-reptile hybrids. Do you believe? We're hoping that whoever finds them in this cave in Thailand staring at this mystery creature is able to get away quickly. Who knows what's been unearthed in this image? Are you going to stick around to find out? Share your ideas in the comments and use the hashtag Sweet Topic. The Railway Market This railway market is an amazing spot where the merchants need to move some of their shop fronts again and again from the tracks each time a train approaches so it can go through. After the train passes, they quickly set up again. The train comes lots of times each day but it does have a schedule, so it's predictable at least. That's the reason the market has the nickname Collapsing Umbrella Market, a rising site to visit when visiting Thailand. Its stalls have displays of fruits, veggies, meats, seafood, as well as sweet snacks, clothing, and flowers. A little warning bell goes off over the speaker system just a few minutes before the train comes. Within a few minutes of hearing the warning, vendors pull back their awnings before the train comes, sometimes only minutes before. The market is most famous due to the novelty of the train, but it's in fact one of the largest fresh seafood markets in Thailand. The baskets of fruits and vegetables are moved just enough so they're not sliced by the metal wheels. The train passes by with about a foot of room, both below and to the sides of the carts. Visitors and vendors stand pretty close. Everyone goes back to normal as if nothing had happened, and it's hard to believe that tons of metal just sped narrowly past them. Three-Headed Elephant Museum This might be the best three-headed elephant statue in the world. That's a record not many places can boast about. The Arawan Museum is an interesting and strange attraction on the outskirts of Bangkok. It's well known for its giant three-headed elephant art display. The museum was the creation of a Thai businessman who also created the Sanctuary of Truth in the ancient city Muang Boran, a large open-air museum south of Bangkok. The museum was built to conserve a large number of priceless antiques, items of art, and religious objects that are part of Thailand's heritage. The giant three-headed elephant is its main attraction. It's made of bronze, the statue weighs a huge amount of 250 tons, 
and measures 29 meters high by 39 meters long. It stands on a 15 meter high pedestal and houses the three-story museum. It takes from the Hindu representation of the universe, the first floor of the museum represents the underworld, the second floor symbolizes earth, and the top floor, which is inside the belly of the elephant, represents heaven. The museum also has a lovely tropical garden, including running water with Thai sculptures, so this is one place in Thailand you wouldn't want to miss. <laughs> Beach Demon This statue might creep you out if you're alone at night visiting it, so maybe bring someone with you. This is located at one of the more unusual beaches in Thailand. As far as we know, it's the only display of its kind in the country. The main statue is what most people come to see. It's of a giant woman in the sea. When the tide is out, you can walk up to the statue, but when the tide is in, it looks the best. Many people find the statue scary, but it might be because of the legend about it rather than the statue itself. Sun Thorn Phu, or Thailand's most famous poet, his most famous poem runs 30,000 lines long and he began writing it in prison when he was serving a sentence for getting into a fight. The poem follows a prince who plays a magic flute that causes people to sleep and poisons them soon after. The plot gets bizarre and long. Next to the main statue, there are also smaller statues on either side. These are also accessible when the tide is out. There are many places to eat and drink. But what you'll notice most if you visit is that the whole place seems like kind of a rundown area. It was a very popular place 20 years ago, but it looks like some time later it was abandoned. <laughs> Big Buddha If something is gold, it has to be good, right? With this massive statue of gold, it's more than good. The Golden Buddha, located at a temple in Bangkok, is about five and a half tons of solid gold. Buddhists describe this statue as reflecting the true nature of the Buddha, and visitors from all over the world come to view the beauty of this ancient treasure. Buddha stands at an amazing 92 meters tall and 63 meters wide. Completed in 2008, the enormous statue towers above the surrounding, populated farmland. The temple's exact origins are unknown. In 1990, work started on the Big Buddha and was completed 18 years later, costing about $3.75 million. Early Buddhists created the Golden Buddha to capture the physical traits of the Buddha, the Enlightened One, and to encourage meditation and reverence of divine power. Buddhists believe that statues created in the image of Buddha are living objects, so the Golden Buddha was created to be worshipped. We're not sure of the exact time the statue was started to be built, so maybe it is a living thing. The Golden Buddha is on the fourth floor of the Wat Trimit, the temple that's become a landmark because of this historic monument. Who do you think started building this? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Rotting Meat Flower Wildlife here is even more diverse than in the Brazilian jungle. Pretty impressive, huh? Apart from this diversity, it's a pretty rare and vulnerable flower species only seen in this part of the world and on the border with Malaysia. Rafflesia arnoldii is the biggest flower in the world with a diameter of one meter. It grows only in the jungle of Sumatra, Indonesia, and the plant has no stems, leaves, or roots. The only part that's seen outside the vine is the flower. Like a giant red bowl with yellow spotted petals, this flower has a strong smell that's similar to what you might expect to find from a rotting body. Surprisingly, this is not pollinated by bugs seeking nectar, but rather it's believed to be pollinated by flies. Unfortunately, the flower is endangered. There weren't that many to start with, but people stepping on them by accident or trampling on the host plant or young buds for a close look of the flower causes the flower's low numbers. Another reason why these flowers' numbers are low is because of the short lifespan. After nine months, the giant flowers start to wither. These giant smelly pieces of weird plants tend to bloom during Thailand's dry season months. <laughs> Solar chickens. Night owl diners might want to change their eating habits after hearing about the cooking dining fad everyone in Thailand is talking about, and that's solar cooked meat. Yeah, you heard that right. Chicken and pork cooked by the heart of our sun. 60-year-old Silla Sutharat uses a wall of about 1,000 mirrors to focus the sun's rays into a rack of marinated chicken. It's a system he invented himself. His solar array can cook a full chicken in about 12 minutes. Because of the intense heat from the mirrors, Silla has to wear protective gear, like a welder's mask, to avoid severe burns. Many people thought his solar idea was bad at first, but over time they came around because of that amazing taste that uses natural heat. For two decades, his roadside restaurant has been a mostly local phenomenon. 
but over the last few years, his solar cooker has become a big hit on Thai TV and social media. This discovery has customers flocking from all over the country. Visitors to Thailand are also eager to try the solar chicken. If they can find it, Silla and his wife Pansri cook around 40 chickens as well as several sides of pork every day. His customers can taste the difference with their solar cooked feast. Who needs an oven when you have the sun for free? <coughs> Beer Bottle Temple Temples and alcohol don't really go together. Could you imagine one made of beer bottles? Well, you won't need to imagine since you can see one that already exists. This Buddhist temple in Thailand glitters beautifully in a lovely pond in Thailand's most eco-friendly temple, Wilderness Temple of the Great Glass Pagoda, also known as the Temple of a Million Bottles, is a great example of a community coming together to reduce pollution. In 1984, Buddhist monks in northeastern Thailand grew tired of the mounting litter in the countryside and began a 100 beer bottles on the wall challenge. It consists of around 20 buildings made using bottles such as the main temple, prayer rooms, a hall, and several small houses for the monks. Two types of bottles that are used are green Heineken bottles and brown Chang bottles. After the local monks began to collect them in 1984 for use as a building material, the local government sent additional bottles. The bottle caps are used to create a beautiful picture. The monks have no plans to stop building anytime soon. The more bottles collected, the more structures they plan to make. <laughs> Ghost Skyscraper Let's find out why this abandoned skyscraper is considered to be very haunted. The Sathorn Unique Skyscraper is among the major construction projects started when Thailand's economy was booming in the 1990s. Developers envisioned a city of offices and residential skyscrapers that were to be testament to the nation's rapid growth. Sadly, Thailand sank into a swamp of unfortunate investments and unpaid debts that became known as one of the biggest financial crises in the country's history. Many of the building projects came to a halt, including this 49-story tower. Many buildings finally came to completion and construction is continuing. However, many broke developers are still unable or unwilling to do anything. The skyscraper has been abandoned. Since then, nature found its way in and the Thai people believe it to be haunted by ghosts and call it the ghost tower. In 2014, a photographer exploring the building found a corpse of a 30-year-old tourist in a bathroom on the 49th floor of this building. The land upon which it sits is apparently a former graveyard. This place is now off limits. As of June 2016, a fence made of tin now surrounds the tower and there's plenty of signs saying that trespassers will be prosecuted. It's not impossible to get in, but it's certainly illegal. People are working or living within the Sathorn despite its rundown state. It must be pretty cheap rent if that's the case. David Beckham Temple Thailand is home to a number of quirky and odd temples and the David Beckham Temple is definitely one. This is the nickname for Wat Poriwat, located in central Bangkok. David Beckham's statue was installed here in 1999 when the sculptor, who happened to be a huge Manchester United fan, was able to include it as a permanent temple decoration as a symbol of his love for the club. But this statue isn't all that's unusual about this temple, not even close. Among Buddhist-themed artworks and representations of mythical creatures, you'll notice some characters that don't quite fit. There's Popeye the Sailor in a corner by two completely unrelated mythical creatures. Batman is even hiding behind a green column. Spider-Man is ready to shoot webs as well, so clearly they like American culture. And even characters from hit manga and anime series One Piece and even famous scientist Albert Einstein. A ton of variety for you to gaze at. If you want to keep exploring, go next door to the new part of the temple. It's currently under construction and expected to remain that way for at least a decade longer. Some people claim that all of these statues of superheroes and characters were added because they're considered symbols of good and they could protect Buddhism. We're not sure how that relates to Popeye or Pinocchio, but maybe the explanation for this unusual cast of characters is to draw more tourists. Maybe just American tourists, though. <laughs> Bird Nest Restaurant You might be able to guess why this has the nickname of Bird's Nest Restaurant, this experience invites you to take fine dining to new heights, no pun intended. Comfortably seated up high in a bamboo pod, you get a view of the boulder-covered shoreline moving with gentle waves as you chow down on gourmet food and drink nice wines. Diners must make a short trek through the island's beachside rainforest to reach their pod, so it's not all sunshine and rainbows. 
These egg-shaped, handmade structures are built by resident craftsmen from locally sourced bamboo and other materials. They resemble the nests of native birds. The pods are held by electric cables 36 feet in the air to float among the rainforest. Customers enjoy amazing views of the Gulf of Thailand while their waiter comes through the trees on zip lines with their food. Much of the menu is sourced from the resort's organic garden, featuring Thai classics, seafood, and fresh fruit platters. This would be a great place to take your partner if you ever visit Thailand. The White Temple This temple has some controversy around it, so that might be why it's becoming more popular, or because of how long it's going to take to finish. Wat Rong Kun is unlike any other site of worship, from the freaky heads that hang from surrounding trees to the hands that reach for you as you cross the bridge to the main temple, every section of this site is special in its own way. While this place attracts thousands of tourists from around the world, it received negative attention when it first opened because many Thai people said it wasn't traditional art. Yet the temple continues to stand strong as a symbol of Thai art for the modern world. The White Temple today is an important ornament of Chiang Mai tourism, as only a few months ago, a $3.3 million laser light show took place. And as we said earlier, the work might never get finished, with projects scheduled through all the way to 2070. Hopefully, it gets finished in our lifetime. Tree Buddha Thailand has no shortage of awe-inspiring statues, but few leave a lasting impression in the way that Wat Mahathat's root-covered Buddha head does. Located in Thailand's former capital, here's a little more about the head and the city's fate. The Buddha's head is a major tourist attraction and is thought to be the most photographed object in the entire archaeological site. It certainly makes for an intriguing image. From the tangled roots of the ancient tree, the Buddha's head peers out, appearing to emerge from the very boughs of the tree itself. No one knows for sure how it came to be there and why it was deposited inside this tree in particular. A striking sight with an enduring effect. It's speculated that it was entwined in the roots after a thief placed it there and never returned. But its origins could also be traced back to the 18th century when the city itself was razed to the ground during the war. While the thief responsible for taking the Buddha head to the roots might not have been successful in his attempt to steal artifacts, others unfortunately were. With gangs of looters growing in frequency, the Thai government acted in the mid-20th century to protect the ruins and their heritage. <laughs> Sticky Waterfall Bua Thong Waterfall has the nickname the Sticky Waterfall that does not sound pleasing, but it's because the limestone creates enough friction to stop slipping, so this makes it very easy to climb up the waterfall with the help of ropes, of course. The waterfall is fed by a spring at the top, which plunges down over the rocks, it's not exactly slippery because the wet rocks along the waterfall are quite rough and it makes them easy to walk on and up even when wet. You can even walk barefoot over these rocks, which are rough but not so rough that they'd cut or hurt your feet. You'll still need to watch out for some hiding rocks that offer less traction and are potentially slippery. These tend to be grayer in color than the other rocks. While many people wear swimsuits and check out the waterfall, there are lots who don't want to climb it. At the entrance is a picnic spot and a few restaurants and many people spend the day at the waterfall, eating and drinking. There's also a pleasant walk from the picnic area leading to a shrine with a few pools of very clean water from the falls. Butterflies and birds are along the way as well. Would you attempt to climb it? Or would you rather sit at the top eating while watching others make the journey? The Bat Cave The Bat Cave must be Batman's cave, right? Well, it's more so just a cave with a massive amount of bats, which is scarier, that's for sure. The natural phenomenon of watching thousands of bats fly out from their cave and rise into the moonlight in search of food is one unique sight that you would either love or hate, definitely no in-between. You can witness this exciting event near Khao Yai in Thailand. Tons of bats stream out of the cave every night, grouping up in tight formations to avoid the waiting birds of prey. This trip starts in the afternoon around 3 p.m. They'll take you to see the minerals in an underground cave where you'll also learn about some Buddhist practices and a variety of cave-dwelling creatures. You even get to go swimming in a refreshing spring. When sunset time comes around, you'll see a lot of bats leave their cave in swarms for their nighttime hunting. There were a few strange and unique things in Thailand. The number of wonders in the country keeps getting more attention. Which was your favorite part of this list? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.